There. I wanted to share a, a special doll with you guys today. This is Mystery Squad Kenzie. See here. I picked her up at a thrift store for only $20. And she came out in like 2002. So this makes her 13 years old. I had the entire set. Kenzie, Barbie, Shawnee, and Drew. And I had later uh, sold them in a yard sale or donated them. And, you know, it was for a good cause. <coughs> and kind of regretted it ever since because they were really cool. I'm going to open her up today and I'm going to share all the cool stuff that makes the Mystery Squad dolls awesome. But first of all, I want to go into the details about the box. As you can see here, we have this little slider and it decodes the little messages that are here on the side. So I'm definitely still going to keep this box. It says up here, <coughs> the prom queen stuff is missing. Sounds like another job for the mystery squad. <coughs> Actually, Kenzie was my favorite. Um, it could have been her curly hair, it could have been her outfit, her her dog companion, I don't know, but she was just my favorite. <coughs> there we go. Alright, so you can see here, these are the prom queen's items, the scepter and the rose. I still have those from the original Kenzie I used to have. In fact, I still have all the prom queen accessories. When I had gotten rid of the dolls, those items were stored away in like um, a little like tackle box that I used to hold Barbie shoes and jewelry and purses and whatnot and that I never touched so those items still remained with me now Kenzie is actually the cousin of Midge which is Barbie's redheaded friend and Shawnee is the cousin of Christy, who's the African-American friend. And Drew is the cousin of Teresa, who's a brunette friend. I went and did a little research on them recently because I've been feeling nostalgic. And started kind of trolling, you know, eBay and things like that. But it wasn't until... Uh, right after Thanksgiving, that my fiance and I we went to a little uh, antique mall that we'd always driven past but never had gotten into, and we'd always been curious about it. Oh my God! Okay, first of all, the place seems to go on and on forever. There are so many tiny rooms within the place, and they had so much cool stuff. There's definitely one room in particular that I like. This guy has Beanie Babies, Spice Girl dolls, old vintage VHS Disney movies, which I definitely made sure to pick up some because um, our daughter has a little movie collection going on and it's nice when there's a TV VCR console where it's all together. And, you know, VHSs are so much more resilient than DVDs. Safer for kids to handle. She's almost two and can already put a movie in on her own. So, I um, mean... Okay, but enough about my, enough about my toddler. Alright, we're gonna get Kinsey out of here. Now, because of her mass of curly hair, they actually put her hair in a, a net, like what the cafeteria wear, ladies wear. So, hold on. I have to, first of all, cut the thread holding her sunglasses on her head. If I can get, there we go. Okay. <laughs> this is like Princess Merida hair right here. 
it definitely needs to be a little fluffed out man this brings me back I graduated in 2002 and yeah so what if I was still collecting Barbies the generation girls and the mystery squad ones were the coolest at the time far more details uh, more ethnicities uh, better face molds flexible bodies you name it <coughs> all right So here we have a little thread that is just being stubborn. There we go. Let's see if I can. Ah, there we are. Isn't she beautiful? And she comes with a choker. That does not come off. All right. So we have. The articulated at the elbow and the shoulder, but not the wrist. Newer dolls have that, these don't. They still have the snap joint knees. But check out this flip phone. People don't even have those anymore, they're all touch screens now. So you can definitely see how dated this doll is. I love her red jacket and her colorful tank top here it has multiple stripes of color and she has a beautiful denim skirt long length little heart with wings decal knee-high fishnets white platform boots well, they're not, not, not boots, but just platforms. Now, the great thing about the Mystery Squad dolls is that they came with a backpack. And each backpack has something different about it, which is part of their <coughs> talent in the squad. She is the surveillance specialist, and her backpack, hers is the only one that has this that goes around the waist, because she uses it to rappel down. Yeah. Everybody else's backpack has um, another item, like Barbie's is the vi night vision goggles, and so you push a little button on the backpack and then... Night vision goggles glow. She's also got this digital camera here where she takes a picture of the rose. And that can flip up. And she has a dog. Now, her dog. Come on. I know it lights up. Ugh. Maybe I gotta have batteries in them. That little light is supposed to light up it's a little red light her signal all clear to repel down and a little bone for the dog the dog is never given a name so you can name him whatever you want <coughs> and all the other dolls come with the standard stuff here uh, decoder shades for messages. We have a map of the school because the prom queen's items go missing. Everything's ever her damn dress, you know. So we have a map with a pink magnifying glass and the pink magnifying glass is like how you see on the box with the decoder message. So I used to have all of them, but I never had their uh, headquarters. That was one thing. It was hard to find, and I was not really that interested in it once I knew that it was just kind of unobtainable. 
I mean, I won't think twice if I, I find one, you know, for cheap somewhere. Especially in the box with all of its stuff. I mean, $20 for this? I am so thrilled that I found this. And this is kind of like a little birthday present to myself. Because my birthday is uh, coming up soon. And here we have this packet. That comes with some items that you put together. This is a little cardboard suitcase that you just put together. A pamphlet on how to train your dog to sniff for clues. This is Kenzie's ID card. This is also what you can use the magnifying glass for. <laughs> says use your red magnifying glass to sniff out clues and then there was a code you can go online blah 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 and the booklet which talks about all the characters Shawnee, Kenzie, Drew, Barbie Barbie for once not wearing pink I like that which Drew that was in pink and then there's the picture of their little squad. It's a secret headquarters, which pretty much was like a fruit juice bar. She's the first one that I have recollected. I'm going to get the rest. I've actually seen a Barbie one at uh, another thrift store. I just haven't been able to uh, find out how much she is. Because she's kind of like behind a fence. It's in a closed up unit. So I have to talk to uh, whoever runs the place. You can see here she's got highlights in this um, hair of hers. So she's got a few blonde highlights with this, you know, honey gold hair, which is, you know, it's supposed to be red. And um, kind of like turquoise eyes. Not quite green, not quite blue. She really is beautiful. I love her. And thank you so much for watching me open this.